Hey there, welcome to Biz Data. In this video, we're going to understand the basics of startup investing. Do you realize how many startups have made our lives easier? Startups have not only brought a number of services to our doorsteps, but also changed the landscape of our businesses and economy. Traveling long distances in the summer heat would have remained terrible with constant bargaining with the autowalas if Olas did not exist. And not to forget Paytm providing India's first mobile financial services that allow you to make payments online within seconds. All these companies were startups back in the day. But here's the thing, if you had the knowledge and access to invest in these companies, you'd have enough money to retire by now. Startup investments have been less familiar to the most of you because of the myth that it's a class of investment with high entry barriers reserved only for the ultra rich. But times have changed. Earlier in India, a 5 lakh rupee investment in a single startup was required. And if you work towards building a diverse and a well balanced portfolio, then less than 25 lakhs would do you no good. But who would have that kind of cash lying around? This does sound a lot for you. But by the end of this video, we're going to teach you how you can start investing in startups right now with an amount so less that you must not even imagine. So stay till the end of the video. Before I talk about investing in startups, there are a bunch of terms you need to know. Let's start with the basics. You may have come across the terms venture capital and angel investors. Venture capital is basically capital invested in a new venture, most commonly startups and small businesses. It's a type of financing that's risky but has long-term growth potential. This financing is normally done by institutions. Angel investors are usually high net worth individuals who would finance a startup in exchange for ownership equity. But what's equity? Well, when you invest in a company, you're essentially buying a piece of the company. If the company makes a profit, investors make returns on their investments. If the startup fails, the investors lose the money they've invested. Another common term is liquidity, which means how easy it is to convert your holdings into cash at the bank. Although liquidity is usually quite low in startups. Finally, there is valuation, which is the process of quantifying the worth of the company. There are a bunch of different methods to value a startup, but let's not get into those technical details. Instead, here's what you need to know. The valuation process helps you to know the amount of equity given to the investors in exchange for their funds. Okay, now that the terminologies have been discussed, let's dive into startup investments. Startup investments carry a high level of risk and can result in a total loss of capital. As a result, it's critical that you learn everything you can about this investment. You must invest only what your budget allows and not over invest due to your enthusiasm for the startup. Many people over invest during the early stages of the startup due to the team's dedication, but fail to consider how that startup will respond to actual business situations in the future. When the going gets tough, many startups fail, posing a significant risk to your investment. So you need to understand if the startup has a passion to succeed or they are just chasing quick money. After assessing the risk factor, you must determine whether the startup provides real and long-term value. It is very critical to remember that you cannot predict the ultimate outcome of any startup. With that, here are a few more things to consider. The first thing is to look for startups that match your area of expertise and interests. This way, you'll be able to understand the functioning and decisions on a much deeper level. You won't feel lost or blank, and it will make you patient for returns on your investment. Second of all, the founders are one of the most important factors to consider before investing. You need to answer a few questions in your mind related to the founder's skills to execute their big projections and claims, like they are, if they are passionate about their own product or not, and after these questions are answered, you need to check their background and experiences. The third point is that you need to understand the market situation and the current trends prevailing in the market, such as market competition, after which you should consider what the startup's long-term plans are. 
whether the founders are aiming for an early exit or an acquisition. And finally, you review the legal documentations involved. Before investing, it is extremely important to go through their financial statements filed with various regulatory bodies. Although BizData provides you with necessary information on the startups and the market they operate in, we still recommend you to do your own research. Once you have understood what has been explained to you in this video, you're good to go. It's time for you to click on the invest button. But remember, even after considering all the factors that we've covered, it's not going to work until you feel a connection with the startup and its founders. And that's it for this episode. Head over to our website to build your startup investment journey with BizData.